immediately withdraw my cavalry. Mossars is brought here. Meanwhile, my other cavalry is arriving. And you are starting to see why it is so important to have to keep your cavalry till the very end. My other unit of cavalry went to the center. And was resting. Still tired, you can see. Tired with low provision. And meanwhile my I ordered my line infantry to wheel around it. And this one to go here, where they will swap some fire. Remember that these units are absolutely fresh. They haven't got tired, they haven't even seen battle. So they have a huge advantage of, over battle-worn troops. And this is what I was banking to take this around. I only... my only change would be to make them arrive, make them arrive sooner, but with all the action you kind of forget to move things around. And a charge to the Grenzes and they're off. My Russian AI friend finally managed to suicide his entire army with these guys and these guys here in the front all alone and supported. He ate instead of that. You can see here the difference of speed between forest movement and out of forest movement. It's crazy. Now I'm moving my cavalry here to catch these guys on the flank since these guys will be soon to be deceased. At least as a battle force. So this unit now is getting fired at from three sides. Which means it won't last for long. And then I spotted the Gracias here. And had to realign my Stream right unit because otherwise they would be flank charged by Gracias coming out of woods. Playing without flags makes woods make me wonder two two times, make me think two times about committing cavalry troops to woods because you can't see them. It's impressive. You need, really need to pay a, to pay a lot of attention. So even though they come in, uh, they come totally disorganized, they can still cause quite an impact because they appear by surprise on your flanks quite important as well. As important, if not more important than the rest. Anyway, these grenadiers are out routing from the Austrian infantry. We still have one unit of black left. So Austria sends its line infantry through because my units has formed and they began firing, only I ordered my Hassas and my Gracias to charge them immediately. Yep, and there they go. They broke, because they were very disorganized from the forest. And I ordered my other Gracias to also join on the party. And these guys, yeah, I had to remove these guys from here and from the support and to try and cover the right flank and they just don't have enough strength to do so they don't have I mean they don't have enough strength to keep both their sides active they couldn't they didn't have the strength needed to keep on attacking without the support from those troops to keep them the weight of the attack and of course this line infantry unit broke, broke by sympathy and my cavalry keeps on doing a number and I allowed it to go a bit too long, I think, because I was paying attention to the other parts of the map. Is it already this year that came back? He is soon to be departed by my two units from the center here. Which is, will just wheel in and finish. My right flank was supported by an extra battalion from, from this center regiment that was advancing. So I just gave him a support battalion to route these guys and help them until I took it back, actually. Because I figured that with cannons these guys could hold their own versus, after breaking their cavalry, hold their own versus whatever else they got here. 
which is not much, it's just the next rogue battalion already routed. So if they route once again, they're probably not going to come back ever. They have two battalions with two artillery in support, so I really need troops over in this area, which is where I'm turning my battle lines now. Now I'm advancing infantry and artillery to bring a shower of rain of death and destruction over them. And I'm sending these units through the forest. Infantry isn't as bad as cavalry, still I don't like to do it, but it's really the shortest way to get them on the flank. And my cavalry has been well getting in position. To just charge them from the flanks. And my line infantry is running after these guys, but... I, I stopped them because it's, it's pretty unnecessary. Just bring them forward. Oh no, this is the AIs, actually, when I hear. Sorry. It's quite confusing, you know, that attack saying it's AI or if it's yours. So you can see long, how effective long range fire is. I have my Gracias here. And they've been firing at them for quite a while and they still haven't managed to kill a single one of them. And now my infantry is arriving and my cavalry on their backs. Resting a bit just to get in shape. Stick with enough cohesion to send them all to hell, basically. And all the remaining strength they had is basically vanished because they don't have anything else. Actually, a fire attack came from this direction. I didn't notice that they still had some troops back here. So the final attack came from here, and it's actually posed by the threat, because it, I was very advanced and I wasn't expecting this force to appear on my flank. So these guys were basically charged by my... by my cavalry. thin line, I don't know why. Didn't mean to do it is what I mean. Still managed to get some shots in, which is good to break their morale. Now this is also good to break their morale apparently. And this to catch them here on their flank. I was afraid actually that they might rob my unit of line, but they didn't, it's those guys that resisted, that earlier I mentioned, resisted everything. A cavalry charge, everything. A flank charge by grenadiers. A front and frontal and flank charge by grenadiers. And they held fast. Nice. Anyway, their line infantry is basically pretty much gone. And uh, I think some units of my cavalry ended up rotting here because they were very tired. Or not. No, I don't think I lose any more cavalry units actually. Now that I'm thinking of it. 